think you'd want to spend your first Valentine's Day apart. Yeah, it's actually a little bit of a point of contention between the two of us. He was, I don't know, weirded out about going to a stranger's wedding, okay. and so okay, I... Okay, cool, cool, so... Just knowing about Brody and I living together, it, it, it set you off. Not everything has to do with you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Always weird to sit down and have a cup of coffee with your ex. Um, I mean, what would you do? I mean, I would like to think if I were in his position, I wouldn't be in this position to begin with. In the bar is possible, and all of you Glee kids have dated so incestuously that I can't even remember who can tolerate who anymore. So. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about not being able to do this, being able to look Mr. Shu in the eyes. I, I... Look, I'm really sorry that I don't have a pamphlet handy for you right now, but I'm shit. How's my nervous little bride doing? Oh, oh. good. I just, I just good really can't have a pamphlet this evening. Right for Glee practice, I promise. was against tradition, it would mean the world to me and to Emma if, instead of giving your best man speech, Finn, you sing for us. What do you think? It's still weird that Finn is his best man. Like, can we just talk about that? Can you imagine if a teacher at your school's best man was one of the, pretty much the students? The eating disorder thing, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Take her out to dinner, save a bunch of cash. Then you can use that extra money to buy a ton of different lingerie. Have her put on a fashion show. Chicks love fashion. Dude, I know you're like related to that guy, but he's kind of creepy and currently dating a sophomore. All right, I'm not letting you do any of that. Dude, I don't know about this stuff. Yeah, okay, those are the only fashions by Usher, my best friend's girl, and my and I's by the Eagles. I can't go through with this. You're gonna be fine, all right? I'll sing with you, we can do a duet. I'll take the lead oh and you can just gosh. sway in the background. <laughs> what? Do the Glee guys just have nothing to do during the day at school? They can just... Like sweet morning dew I took one look at you that you love You're all You're all I need Like, bring up some Miss Pillsbury said I should look out for you. Hell no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Wheel away. Wheel the hell away. My aunt told me she was fixing me up with some <laughs> good look. CD. And Will Schuster is a weepy man child whose greatest joy in life is singing with children. And his best friend, 19. It's just the last time was such a disaster. <laughs> you know, I, I turned into somebody that I didn't even recognize. And if I'm wrong again. I won't survive. Well, don't say that to Will Schuster. He'll have you singing a stripped-down acoustic version of I Will Survive in front of a choir room full of teenagers with meaningful looks on their faces. God, I can't oh, breathe. Oh, my God. I can't breathe. I don't appreciate you going even more. I mean, you must have lots of better things to do. Not a word of this to Will. Remember, William, you the man I'm going to marry, but I'm not because I wouldn't ruin anyone as wonderful as he is. But I thank you all for the gifts and the flowers. Thank you all. Now it's back to the showers. Do I want to have to tell you, but it made me come down with hepatitis, and I think I'm going to face you. If you want to see me fail, I'll do it happily, but wouldn't it be funnier to go watch a funeral? So thank you for the 27 dinner plates, the 37 butter knife, 47 this butter knife, is like stressing me out. Tell you anything? Or... She didn't have to tell me anything. So now Will has no friends his own age. His best man is a student, and his fiance left him standing at the altar. I mean, this guy really does need like to get a life or something. What you would like to do, Mister Shu? About what? A about the reception. Miss Pillsbury's parents say they paid for the whole thing, so. We might as well go ahead and have the party and if you ask me they seem pretty happy about what happened we can't have oh, a reception now i'm mean, sure you yeah. can all of you came back you should be together just because i ruined my valentine's day doesn't mean i have to ruin all yours too what did you do to ignore the subtly racist overtones of that comment because you are my hero huh. i mean this is perfect i'm so getting late tonight oh um, well i mean marley has wanted to take things slow and we have which is fine but I mean, all this romance is like nitrous. You too. Like... You know that what happened today is your fault, right? How would you know? Because I've seen every runaway bride movie that there is, and I know that when the bride runs away, it's never because of a random kiss. All right, it's because she knew deep down inside that it wasn't right. 
right, well, look, it's not every day that we're in the same city, so let's dance. I mean, it's just like out of sight, out of mind. You're in New York, you're at Vogue.com, you're at Miata. Who are you, Kurt? Meanwhile, Blaine is here, lonely, and yes, he cheated. And we're all human, Kurt. We all deserve to be loved back, Kurt. Okay, Tina, I say this with total love, but the moment we all saw coming is finally here. You're a hag. You're hagged out, you're in love with Blaine, and it's creepy. Stop. What do you know about love? You just come and go. Who's been... That whoever catches them will magically become the next person <laughs> to get married, or more than likely to sprint from the altar. <laughs> so gather around, single ladies, and allow me to be the one to enable your false dreams and ridiculous expectations <laughs> of course I'm asking you how you can live with a guy but still be single she loves me not come on it's New York okay haven't you ever seen sex in the city Brody and I had a very they mature very conversation which is to say to... that we're not gonna you know, put any labels on anything and worry about what we are. She loves me. So do you really believe all that stuff you tell yourself about no labels and mature conversations, sex in the city, really? We gotta go sing or do it. so. Yeah. It almost feels a little creepy. Look at the stars now. Who is that? Just for like to do this and then go home. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. This is amazing. Just a little something I threw. Welcome together. home. It only took me two whole days, but you're worth it. Thank you. I felt bad about us not being together on Valentine's Day. But since She uh, was fine, trust me. I have airplane belly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Okay. I am kind of worn out from the night before you left. So pretty much the idea is that these two are just playing house. They are not in a good relationship at all because they pretty much both just lied. Dick, whenever you do that for someone for real, she's who going to be the luckiest is with who? on the planet. It was for real. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I should probably go. Yeah. I get kind of mean. Kind of mean? You were like, Idiot, mean, mean. I know, I'm working on that. Anyway, thanks for putting up with me. And thanks for. You're like the best I've ever had. And I've had a lot. I, there's no way, there's no way, I, <laughs> I'm so stupid, I thought when she was looking at her calendar, I thought she was like looking at her schedule to see when she could get back to Ohio to see Finn again, <laughs> like that's what I thought it was going to be, and I thought like, like, the next scene was going to be her, like, showing up. Be like, I've got the week off. Like, you know. But no. No, that was not at all what she was checking out. 
Oh my gosh. Now that is a plot twist. Oh my gosh. 